Hey there everybody, Eric from Outer Limitless coming at you today with another video. Now at this point in the season, it is mid-fall. It's starting to get really chilly outside and I don't know about you, but just because it's getting chilly doesn't mean I'm really ready to stop camping. But with that said, it is quite important to select your gear carefully and maybe you're in the market for a sleeping bag. Well, that was the case for one of my friends who was looking to get into some winter camping gear, at least late fall. I mean, maybe not dead of winter, cold stuff, but some good quality fall gear to keep him warm and safe on his backpacking trips. And in that regard, he was looking at me for a little bit of advice. Now, I had been watching a company for quite a while now, for a couple of years, and the name of this company is Outdoor Vitals. So in today's video, we are going to take a look at a product from the company Outdoor Vitals. This is the Stormlight 20 degree bag. This bag is a synthetic sleeping bag. This goes down to approximately 20 degrees. And for the price point, the given features, the overall quality, and the fact that this weighs in right around the three and a half pound mark, this to me is an excellent option for somebody who's looking to get started and is working on a budget. And even if you're not working on a budget and you're looking for a good quality sleeping bag and something to get you through the colder months, this may be an option for you. But with that said, I do have some footage from a recent camping trip where my buddy used this in an overnight and it was quite chilly. So what we'll do is I'm going to roll in a little bit of that footage and then we'll come back into the studio and I'll give you some of the details on the sleeping bag. But before we do that, do me a favor. Stay tuned. So what is this, the 2018 version of the Osprey Atmos? It is. Nice. It's very nice. I like it. Yep. Uh, I fit everything right in here. So I got. So what is this, the Outdoor Vitals? This is the Outdoor Vitals Stormloft 20 degree. Nice. Okay. So it's not bad. Nice. Compresses down. I also got pillow and pad in there. So when you squeeze it, oh, actually, yeah. So you have a little more. Oh yeah, you could definitely compress it down more if you wanted no. to. That's good that it fits, because that's a pretty common compartment yep. for these bags, these types of bags anyway. Yeah. So it is the OV Light 20. Nice. Temperature rating 20 degrees, 80 by 33 inches. For like 65 bucks. Nice. I actually like the way the um, the fabric feels. Yep. It's it's soft to the touch. You know, it's like very smooth. I opened it up at home and it was pretty um pretty big too. What is this? Does this mean it's a lot long? Did you get the long version? If I did, I didn't mean to. Okay. I just picked the. Uh, I think it's large actually. Large. Yeah. Large or long? Usually they'll do them. It in is kind of long, so it could be long. We'll see. We'll check it because that's 80 by 33. I'll check it on the website. I usually take off. How was it getting it into the stuff sack? Simple, no issue. That's good because I, I took it out and I did it folded and I did it uh, stuffed in and it was fine either way. Yeah, I think sometimes companies get a little tight on the stuff sack no, and then you're struggling good. to get the last little bit of the bag in. So that's so what we're looking. There. Nice. It's got a good and it's got a nice kind of hoodie. Yep. Nice little zipper. And then it's got a little uh little drawstring so to you cinch it down. Cinch it down a little bit. Mm-hmm. Doesn't look long. Uh seems about right. Yeah. Yeah, nice. Well, you're gonna fit in it. Oh yeah. Nice. It's pretty good. Okay, so it's all black on the bottom, has all the black and it's got the red stripes, yep. Yeah. Cool. And then where's the zipper? So the zipper so the zipper's on, is on this side. On the side. Yep. Yeah. And then I see. And then it's got the um, little wind got baffle. The little thing. Yep. Nice. I'll be curious after because I think they design these. When you look at it, they tried to design these as a snow no snag design. 
Yep. So it's got that plastic thing. So I'll be curious to see how it goes. Let me know, because I've never had a sleeping bag basically that hasn't caught at least a snag. Okay. So I'll be curious to see. Well, I've opened it a couple times and it hasn't snagged yet. That's about the extent. That's a good sign. So we will see how it goes. Excellent. Awesome. Sweet. Sweet, man. 100% no issue. Did so, on the pad? fit on the pad good? Yeah. So your final impressions of the Outdoor Vitals, what, OV Light 20? OV Light 20. Uh, yeah. how, how'd it go? How was your night? Fine, that was the warmest I've been in a while. Nice, and I would say uh, definitely in the low 30s. I mean, yeah. that was probably down into the 20s, right? Yeah, the only time I felt it was when it got windy at all. So, yeah, semi-blustery night for sure. But I don't think you could have gotten past that anyway, so. Now, um, you were saying something about the seams. Do you, you think it was... Feel, you could just feel the wind on the seams. On the zipper? On the zipper, yeah. Okay. Now, what I'm wondering is... All I did was flip it so that was on the bottom. Oh, that's a good idea. I see, so you rotate it a yep. little bit and then... Yep. And then... After that, I had no issues. Did you use the hood? Uh, I didn't figure out there was a hood until halfway through the night. <laughs> nice. I did a little bit, though. Yep. That's cool. So, nice. Generally, uh, hey... Bottom line is, 20 degree night. Totally, Scott had to have totally been worth it. in the 20s yep. anyway, uh, in a 20 degree bag, and uh, totally worth it. And you survived. 100%. Comfortably. Comfortably survived. Excellent. So. so, this Outdoor Vitals Stormlight Synthetic 20 degree sleeping bag. There are two versions a right hand and a left hand. So you'll see in the video that we were wondering what the little tag on here stood for. I was thinking it could have been the long version, but no, this is the left-hand version. So the red model is your left-hand version, the green model is your right-hand version, and if you would like, you can purchase one of each, combine the two, and have yourself a double sleeping bag. But in that regard, we only have the left-hand version here, so this is what we're going to take a look at. And the first thing is you will see that it comes in its own stuff sack. So basically, a compression sack capable of really squashing this thing down pretty good. And in that field use footage, you'll see that we were able to easily fit this in the bottom of an Osprey pack, which is a pretty standard backpacking backpack. Now getting into this, you will see your typical enclosure. Here a drawstring design on the top and opening this up. Now, one of the things that I do like about this particular stuff sack, sometimes I find that companies go a little too tight on their stuff sacks. They're really tight in their fabric and overall it makes it very difficult to get the actual item into the stuff sack. That's not the case here where the sleeping bag fits nicely and it is not difficult at all. Now checking the material, the stuff sack is made of the same exact material, at least it appears to be, as the sleeping bag itself. And the first thing that I notice when I touch this is it is quite soft to the touch, feels good, and is something that's going to feel excellent up against your skin. Now that's also the case on the inside, a slightly different material, but you'll see the two-tone black and red on the outside and that gray interior liner. They are slightly different materials, both of which feel nice to the touch, and you can feel a nice quality baffle inside with a good amount of insulation and loft. Now one of the features worth discussing is the type of insulation in the sleeping bag. This is called the Storm Light for a reason. The synthetic insulation inside this sleeping bag is considered to be a microfiber. And so that does a couple of things. First is it is very compressible, allows the sleeping bag to compress down nice and tight. Second is that it is very warm, good overall loft and thermal properties because of the type of insulation. But third, and maybe the most important, this is basically virtually waterproof. So the type of weave that this is, does not allow the water to penetrate into the insulation fibers very easily. So in that regard, you have a sleeping bag that is very water resistant and is good in moist environments. And that is definitely an advantage over either other synthetic bags and most certainly down. So taking a quick look here, you'll see that it is branded with the Outdoor Vitals logo. That is on the very front and middle of the sleeping bag. And like I mentioned, the red version is the left-hand zipper. So you'll see here the left-hand zipper track running from the top to the bottom of the sleeping bag all the way down to a fully enclosed foot box. 
There is no drawstring, no opening or anything like that. So it is a fully enclosed foot box on the sleeping bag. Now getting into the details, one of the things that Outdoor Vitals does is utilizes an anti-snag design. So this you'll see has a very interesting zipper track. The zipper itself is enclosed in a plastic piece that's supposed to help and aid in reducing the overall ability for it to snag on the fabric. But I'll just run it up and down the track a couple times here just to test it myself. <laughs> running it just a little aggressively to see how it's going to work and I'm not being overly cautious kind of running it from the top to the bottom. The zipper actually feels very nice and quality and it's running up and down without any problem. Now here I did manage to get it just a touch snagged so this is the start of a problem and you typically end up uh, with a real hard time getting the zipper undone but let's see real quick backing it off this came off with ease, so nothing terribly difficult. A Little bit of a snag, but not a big deal. Now completing my thoughts on the zipper, not only do you have the zipper from the top down, but you do also have one from the bottom up, which is also nice. The only difference here really being that the lower zipper itself does not have that anti-snag design, uh, but not a big deal. You just need to be a little bit careful. And that always for me is important. The proper ventilation in a sleeping bag can make or break your night's sleep. The last thing you want is to start sweating and that condensation and moisture buildup is the first thing that's gonna lead you to get cold. Now there are some nice little details that I'd like to point out. If you look at the very bottom here, you will notice that there is a gusset in the bottom here, which does two things. One, it helps to keep the draft out, so that is kind of nice. But the other thing is it reduces tension on the fabric. If you can imagine that gusset was not there, you would have all the stresses pulling on these seams, and it could lead to premature degradation of the fabric. So to have these little details, and the fact that Outdoor Vitals has thought of some of these things is definitely good. So overall, well, um, my initial impression, just starting to get into the details, I'm seeing a lot of thought and a lot of little things that are adding up to a good quality product. And to me, that's a great sign. Now you will notice that behind the zipper, there is this nice wind baffle. This is basically going to help to seal off any wind penetration that could potentially make it through the zipper. So in that regard, it is pretty well lofted. There's a good amount of insulation in there, pretty thick, and it seems to fall roughly in the right place. Now I could see being in here, if you got in and you were not careful, that this baffle may not line up exactly where you need it. So for example, it could flop itself in, and then when you zippered this up, it wouldn't be doing its job. So I do see the need, if you are going to rely on this in the cold weather, to be pretty careful, and once you zip this up, to take that baffle and lay it into place. So just run your hand down the inside, get that baffle right where you need it. And one of the things that you'll notice is that if you listen to my friend and the impression that he had, one of the things that he did note is that because it was a very cold night and quite windy, he did seem to get some cold penetration into the sleeping bag. And my suspicion is that it was through the zipper and probably the fact that the baffle was not necessarily placed in line with the zipper to keep the wind out. So that to me is just a detail and it's kind of user error, um, but I would be curious to test this myself and see if that's the case. Now the very top of the zipper does have a little velcro enclosure here so you do have the ability to velcro that shut or if you didn't want to nice little detail again instead of having this rough velcro that you could potentially kind of scratch on your face you have the ability to kind of fold that over and that is kind of nice again just all these little details adding up on a very affordable product to something that has a lot of thought and good overall quality built into it. Now the very top of the sleeping bag does have a hood. So this hood is ample size. It has a drawstring to allow you to cinch it shut and really get it wrapped around your head. And in that regard, if I Velcro this shut, you can see you can pull this virtually completely closed. So if it was a really cold night and you really wanted to bundle up, I could see the ability to get your pillow inside here, get your head all inside and really cinch that down around your face. Still being able to breathe to the outside, getting all that moisture from your breath out from inside of here, which is a must. So overall, again, just another quality feature. Now the back side of the sleeping bag is completely black. 
It does not have any straps or any sort of means to hold a pad in place. In my opinion, not a big deal. I don't roll around a ton. I mean, I know some people might and they may have problems. And I know that some sleeping bags have pad straps. This one does not. And to me, definitely not a make or break feature. Now, one thing that I definitely like to do to check the quality of the construction is look at all the stitching. So on the outside here, just doing a real good observation, looking for some of the trouble spots where all the different panels come together, making sure that everything's stitched well and even, no fraying, no um, fabric or stitching out of place. In that regard, everything looks to be really nicely done. And then moving on to the inside, checking the zipper, checking the zipper track all the way from the top to the bottom, making sure it's even. Again, everything looking nice and even, no problems there. Now finally transitioning to the inside, again, checking all the stitching, looking through the hood and all the way down the inside. Everything to me looks to be very nicely done. This here is the first little piece of string that I've seen out of place. Now, just to be safe and not continue to pull on things, this is something that typically I would kind of trim out of it um, because I don't want to continue to pull and have anything accidentally run further on me. So I'm going to continue to check this, make sure there's nothing else or anything significant worth noting, and then we will continue to move on. So after my final inspection, literally just this one little thread sticking out here. So again, I'm just going to trim that up. And that's really all I can see. So in terms of the overall construction, it seems to be very nicely done. And the one last feature on the inside. Now this is up underneath the hood area. So just on the inside, kind of up around your chest, you do have one interior pocket. So this is kind of nice in the regards that um, different things could be a little bit sensitive and you may want to keep them warm. Uh, things with batteries, say for example, your cell phone. Now you do need to be just a little bit careful. Today's modern cell phones do run a little bit hot in terms of their batteries and especially if you're charging it using some sort of a battery backup like a power bank or something like that. Uh, you just need to be a little bit careful. Um, but you could certainly keep your phone on the inside of this if it was very cold to try to preserve battery. Things like your headlamp or even a flashlight. Something like that might be perfect. So it is nice to have a little pocket on the inside and I think again just a nice little touch. So all right guys there you have it. A look at the Outdoor Vitals Stormlight 20 degree synthetic bag. As I mentioned, I had been wanting to see the Outdoor Vitals products for a long time now. I am thrilled to have this in my hands, and I'm very glad that my buddy was able to take some of my advice and get his hands on this bag as well. I think it's going to be something that will perform very well for him. It's economical. It keeps him moving, allows him to not only spend his money on really one of the big three efficiently, but then get other gear as well. That's one of the things when you're starting the backpacking and camping hobby, you really need to be careful with your money because there's a lot of stuff you need to get and you need your money to go as far as possible. So all right guys, thanks for stopping by. I hope you like what you saw. I hope you found it a little bit informative. If you like what you saw, please like, share, and subscribe. And as always, thanks for stopping by. Take care now. I'll see you soon.